Namaste. Good morning and welcome. So we are back to the morning session and UHV3. And we just completed lecture 14 yesterday where we were talking about the higher activities of the self giving guidance to the lower activities. How our imagination, our desire, thought, expectation can be guided by the activities of contemplation, of understanding and of realization. So that we can live with the right feeling, feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony and feeling of coexistence. And with that, when our feeling is one of relationship, harmony, coexistence, this is what is naturally acceptable to us also. And therefore, we are in harmony, we are in happiness, and the continuity of this is possible. It is doable. So we were speaking of this and we had given an assignment to reflect on. If I look at the first one, study your desire over a day and find out what percentage of it is coming from preconditioning, what percentage from sensation and what percentage from natural acceptance. So what this would involve is throughout the day, you have to keep looking at your desires and classify them. Is this coming from preconditioning? Is this coming from sensation? Is this coming from natural acceptance? And at the end of the day, you can get a percentage, idea of percentage. This is an important exercise because you know, we have been hearing about this information, but how much of it we have been able to verify within ourselves and validate in our experience, that is significant, that is important. Because ultimately, if it is just words, you know, I'm just trying to say the right words, it makes no difference to my happiness index. So if I really want to be happy within, I need to experience that happiness, that harmony within. And that is very much possible. It is not something that is out of reach. Because many of us have already shared that. But the important thing there is, we have to start looking at the feeling and referring to the natural acceptance. Otherwise, if we don't look at the feeling and we just go by the thoughts, thoughts are fleeting and changing. Feelings also change, but when we get to feelings, it is very easy to apply the reference to the natural acceptance and see whether I have a feeling that is naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable. But when it comes to thoughts, they are very scattered and all over. And for us to verify through the natural acceptance, unless we look at the purpose, it becomes very difficult for us to sort out those thoughts. So that's why we keep saying that at least you have to start seeing the feeling and then referring to the natural acceptance. And then this is very much doable, like many of us have seen. So if anybody would like to share your, you know, what you could find out about your desires over a day, over the whole day, and approximate percentages, and perhaps a little bit about how you came to that conclusion. 
Oh, yesterday, uh, I don't know, madam, the reason. I was uh, very happy. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why also, uh, compared to, to other days, uh, by God's grace, by my Guru's grace, and by the people like you, I was happy. So the okay. analysis may be different. Before <laughs> you go through that, nobody is. <laughs> I don't know, madam. <laughs> really, Before madam. Further, happiness uh, is a, in an internal state of mind. No, it's yeah, really, state. really, madam. I don't know. Generally, I, who is responsible? I am responsible, but uh, <laughs> it is grace. Somebody is. Uh, uh, that also I believe, madam. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe preconditioning and all. <laughs> Ultimately, uh, it's my decision. No. So yeah, yeah, to... really, madam, really. And uh, what I observed amazingly, uh, some, uh, 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 sometimes the behavior I told you as uh, already I shared regarding food, okay, but behavior I was unable to be in line with natural acceptance. Yesterday, amazingly, uh, irrespective of the irritating behavior, I was not uh, influenced. Uh, I was uh, simply calm and I was... Uh, happy with my uh, own state, I can say. So I, I was not at all influenced. However, in some conditions I was influenced, but the percentage was less. But my thoughts, uh, some of my thoughts uh, uh, were based on uh, uh, preconditioning and uh, some of uh, my thoughts were uh, based on sensation. Uh, when I was uh, taking food also yesterday, I observed uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, regarding uh, at the time of taking food, uh, my uh, feeling was based on uh, mostly natural acceptance. But at night, uh, my missus uh, prepared very tasty food and I was not uh, uh, referring to my natural acceptance. Oh, it is very tasty. Then I was uh, going on taking food. Then suddenly I recalled <laughs> what I... Uh, whether it nurtures me or whether it protects me, I have to see that I really observed, madam. Then uh, I limited uh, that taking uh, tasty food also. Uh, uh, this was my experience, madam. Very nice. So thank yes. you, madam. Thank you. So, uh, yes, we, you know, if we become aware and we are reflecting, we can notice this. And we can make the change. Ah, yes, madam. A great, lot, lot of change observed. Yeah. These changes can happen even when we are just working on our thoughts. But eventually we have to work on the feeling part. And ah. not just the feeling. We have to work on the preconditioning. The sense. Ah. Like for instance, you mentioned just now, even though other people's behavior was so irritating. Yes, madam. This is a sanskar, very deep rooted sanskar. Mm -hmm. The other person's behavior is irritating. Mm -hmm. You see this? Yes, madam. Yeah. So we all tend to do these kind of things. So ultimately, what's going to happen is unless we work on the sanskar, and unless I am 24 by 7 aware at every moment. What is going to happen? That sanskar will drive the feeling and the feeling will drive the thought and again it will be back to square one. Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, we are able to conquer this um, say like the taste issue that you mm -hmm. or, you know, being even with the behavior, being able to be calm it may yes. seem like we have been able to get over that, but then again, mm, it, may it may fall repeat. in the trap of that sanskar that we have the strong belief that it is from outside that it has to change. Because now also we think that it is the other person's behavior that is irritating. Despite that, I was able to be okay. But... Mm -hmm. The other person's behavior is not irritating. I am getting irritated by that person's behavior. Yes, ma'am. You will notice everybody doesn't get irritated by that behavior. Really? But I do. That means it is my sanskar. 
So I need to become aware of that also. Yes, yeah. madam. Yes, madam. Very nice. Very Thank nice. you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, Didi, I could be able to observe that. Uh, my sanskar of doubt has uh, reduced a lot i mean now i can trust the people and uh, from outside your behavior i don't react immediately right? meaning uh, now i can see the situation very calmly and uh, then uh, i could be able to apply what is naturally acceptable to me and then i be used to behave that percentage has improved a lot lot right but regarding sensations um regarding food that i have to need lot of work on that mm -hmm. and uh, yeah because uh, throughout the day somehow i am keeping in touch with the content so it is is a constant reminder to me so so i could be if that uh, percentage has improved a lot compared to like it was earlier hardly 10% now i can say i have reached to at least 40% very nice very nice and so you may be able to see that you feel good no ha ah, yes 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 <laughs> less stress less conflict within yes yeah yes. nice because yeah. earlier outside i was keeping calm, calm but inside i was very much uh, disturbed yes that the one part you know, i can the, yeah that part now i can see internally also i am very cool calm and happy nice very nice Yeah, so we will... need to work more. Yeah. Oh yeah, we all need to work more. But the point mm -hmm. is that see, in this short span of time, we are able to experience this. If we really want to do it, we can. Yes, yes, yes. So it gives yes. you that confidence that this is up to me. It is my responsibility. It is up to me. Yes. But only when you like for you, you know. Um, for all of us the most important thing of course is that we are able to experience this happiness this harmony within yes also yes. we go to share these thoughts with others you know when ha, we yeah. when we work with students or other teachers and we are trying to share these proposals with them how okay. well, how well we have imbibed this how well we have really tried it out explored yeah. within validated yes. in living that mm -hmm. much we are able to translate into a uh, a good sort of um, delivering of that proposal because mm. then since we have really understood it and we know that you know how it works i have tried it out tested it myself verified mm -hmm. it validated it in my experience therefore mm -hmm. when i speak about it i speak with confidence i have no doubts yes i'm sure about what i'm saying so mm -hmm. it comes across to the other person also with more clarity mm -hmm. yeah. so that's why we keep saying that even if we are participating of course we are working for realization inside but mm -hmm. outside we are also participating that makes mm -hmm. the progress happen faster and faster mm -hmm. right very nice and the fear part also has reduced a lot now i am a little more confident to go and talk to the people and mm -hmm. internally evaluation of my doing activities also i can do justice to that also that whether i have time for this or not that planning also has improved a lot very nice nice you'll find that now you know when the conflict becomes less 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make decisions with more clarity. Mm-hmm. We have, you know, we are able to channel our thoughts in the right direction, our feelings mm-hmm. in the right direction. With that, we are able to do so much more in the span of the day. Mm-hmm. Because now all that disturbance inside, we don't have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. that already, you know, quietened. yeah yes right. so we can have more observations if somebody would like to share we also asked about studying the thoughts over a day over the whole day yesterday and finding out what percentage of the thoughts were based on coexistence on harmony on relationship on sensation and preconditioning so where is our focus what are we looking at largely yes i was uh, able to observe my thoughts over the entire day mm-hmm. and uh, i could see that now the percent more percentage of thoughts are uh, in for coexistence and relationship mm-hmm. but many things are still drive you know driven by the preconditioning mm-hmm. on the past experience but now that i am able to see uh, that uh, <clears throat> relationship being in relationship is uh, important so the past uh, experience or the preconditioning should not affect the present state of uh, the interaction or the uh, present day scenario it should not be affected by the past or by the preconditioning so in yesterday's interactions also i could uh, see that i wanted to be in harmony and mm-hmm. during the interactions also whenever the other uh, you know uh, if i compare to myself so say 2 3 years back so in many intera- two or three interactions uh, rather I, i would say that i was able to observe that i was not disturbed by the other person's uh, discussion or the way the other person was responding to uh, my you know, during the interaction the way the other person was uh, responding i was not disturbed mm-hmm. i was in harmony i was able to see that maybe the other person is uh, disturbed because of his own certain things that happened in the morning and all that frustration the other was sharing Mm-hmm. so in the end then ultimately he said also ki oh i am sorry i was frustrated in the morning mm-hmm. and we met so i said no it's okay then you came and i just went it out i should not have done this i said no sir it's okay i just knew that this is not this is not you are not talking to me you are just whatever interaction you had since morning and you are frustrated because of that and then that is what is coming out so i was able to see that if had it been me 2 3 years back i would have re- you know, reacted how can he talk to me like this mm-hmm. how why is he talking to me like this but yeah. yesterday i was just sitting and listening to the other person and in the end he himself realized that oh i am wrong yes. said i am sorry i should not have responded in this way i am sorry i was frustrated i had anger on this 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 person then he started yeah i had a fight with this person and then with this person i said no sir it's okay yeah. so there i could see that because preconditioning is there that some if he is talking to me rudely i sh- i will also talk to him rudely but then because of this you know i had this feeling of coexistence harmony that i was able to see that he is disturbed and uh, regarding the desires we the, yesterday i i observe fast on mondays so most of the mondays i am just whatever i cook i eat it and i don't have any special feeling or special desires to eat something but my mother sent me some sweets they are very tasty and they can be eaten on fast days also <laughs> so in the evening when i came home i started eating that sweet it was very tasty so i was you know bhai jate hain hum swad mein 
so to, after eating two three pieces i realized oh this is too very sweet i generally don't take too much sweet and it is too sweet it may harm also if taken in more quantity so that desire i could see that it was based on the tasting part that it was tasty i was not hungry not hungry at all but it was tasty i was eating it just because it was tasty yes so this i could observe that i was just eating it as it was tasty very nice but i was not hungry mm. yeah so yes this is all and one more thing didi i would like to share is that most of the times i am you know selecting tasting has reduced but this analyzing and comparing is still there i have so i think i will still be there question is are they in line with natural acceptance or not See, yes yes if i say you know selecting tasting now you your uh, purpose say you know your desire say for tasty food now it gets set right by is it nurturing for the body like you mentioned no yes yes so you will still do the selection isn't it you are still tasting you are still taking the taste reading the taste coming to some conclusion and doing the selection even if the selection be to eat more or not to eat more no similarly you may like we say when you want to nurture the body now your focus is on nurturing the body you will still do the selection should i eat this vegetable or that vegetable both may be nurturing for the body isn't it but you will still yes. use the selecting the tasting the analyzing comparing those activities will still be working within you not that they are not there but they are now being guided by your natural acceptance or whatever higher activities we have awakened to yeah yes yes this i could observe didi that most of the times now i just do not react instantly so mm-hmm. i take some time and then only i respond mm-hmm. this has this is changing in me that i am not reacting immediately whatever mm-hmm. may be i just take some time and then i respond mm-hmm. so this i could see maybe the time i am taking to analyze and do all these things that is it the right thing to do or not yeah that is fine see what happens is because now you know for such a long time we have been sort of going by whatever is happening outside like you mentioned 2 3 years back if the same person had spoken to you like this you would have reacted but now you are reflecting on all this information that you are getting isn't it with those reflections you are able to see for yourself that this could be that the other person is in pain is suffering and is expressing whatever he has like you mentioned so all this these thoughts are going on inside you and then you take some time and then you respond rather than react now this process that is happening this is a process of self exploration isn't it yes. so initially it may be you know the first time that we heard it or first couple of times what may have happened is that i have heard this but still i reacted and so you feel that you know i couldn't really apply it but that churning is going on within us so at some point you know in the next few times you realize that you are been able to see this reaction starting within you and there itself you are able to check it before it expresses itself outside and then further on as we keep doing this exercise we will find that even that little slight irritation inside doesn't come 
so we don't have to keep trying to stop it or keep trying to change it or do something like that it naturally starts happening in a very normal manner without too much of effort from my side because my sanskar starts changing once my sanskar starts changing that seems to drive my feeling and you know i don't it seems like it's almost spontaneous it's just happening i don't put in that much effort later on but to begin with i have to make that effort so that all these sanskars that i have which are not in line with natural acceptance i am able to change them slowly can you see that yes yes didi right uh, uh so currently i am uh, i have the feeling of coexistence i am enjoying the feeling of coexistence uh so i am full of respect actually whenever i see anything anything around me uh, including earth and uh, the way i see earth water everything everything has changed so mm-hmm. uh, it's a very nice feeling <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, full of respect so mm-hmm. for every creature everything uh, whenever i see anything so i have a feeling that i am somehow it is connected to me it is i am not independent it all support everything you know all these things support me uh, I, i should be there for my existence or the it is a coexistence that is a very enjoyable experience nice nice when we are thinking about it you know we are able to appreciate it but the real test comes is it coming in our living yes ma'am yes ma'am I, i used to take credit whenever whenever i do something in office i used to take my, uh, credit out of it means i had to show that it is my it is my effort but nowadays i do i don't and try to do that so i i yeah, very i can i could understand that if i myself cannot do anything and it means as, as a single person i did i did most of the time it is just a collective collective effort so it is there is no uh, point in uh, saying that it is my effort or i did that i i uh, so i have stopped the use i have stopped to use the word i <laughs> always i try to use the word we 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 only <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, nice so many ins- it has changed the way i see everything everything and my work also work when i work when i explain about the my work achievements etc i, I everything everything is it is getting getting reflected mm-hmm. nice well, i have one feeling is that in case of tasting uh, in case of environmental science we have studied uh, food chain and food web eating of animals and the interlocking pattern of the food chain for because of the food purpose they uh, tiger kills a rat and that cat like that mm-hmm. but as a human being we are killing the animals for the food sit the correct way this is my sensation and thought going on in that yeah so what is there like you know this is reflection of it what about in my living am i able to see yes actually if uh, vegetable food is there why we are killing the animals for example for ch- uh, chicken or mutton like that we have killing the animals yeah but that is are not just seeing, are you also seeing see we may have different sanskars na somebody else has a certain sanskar i have a different type of sanskar somebody else has some preconditioning i have different preconditionings so one is to look at others and see that they are still doing like this but i can see that that is not right so that is one way of looking at it but now i have to see where i am faltering na huh? others whatever yeah. they are doing they are doing and they will be able to see 
you know the light or they will be able to see the truth at some point they may not be seeing it now but what about me you know my focus should be on where i am what are my thoughts what are my desires which ones are in line with natural acceptance which ones are not so that i can work on myself because the whole thing is i want to be happy i want to be comfortable within not just for you i'll say this for everybody when we try you know when we are not able to see the relationship or when we are working largely with the lower activities what happens is we look at the others outside and we compare with us and wherever we see seem to be doing right it is a way of looking at things like okay i am better at this those people are still this way why are they like that so in some ways it is almost like my thought process is driven by that it's almost like i am complaining about the others that they should change they should be this way but in that process what happens is i lose my focus on myself where am i so i may be having a weakness for something else that may not be in line with natural acceptance the other may have some other strengths what we call strengths and weaknesses no so our focus should be on acceptance of the other at least in the feeling part having the right feeling for the other regardless of their behavior outside because i can see that feeling of trust i can be sure that their intention is similar to mine it is just the competence that is lacking like neetu ji was sharing about the behavior you know somebody's behavior you are able to see that it is their competence that is lacking that is not their intention they are not trying to disturb you harm you or anything they are just expressing what is there in them so acceptance for them and at the same time working on my myself that so that i can keep taking reference to the natural acceptance for myself i may have different sanskars that are predominantly affecting my thoughts and feelings but i may not work on them i may not be aware of them if my focus is on others so that's why we say bring the focus to yourself because ultimately it is my happiness that i am really working for my happiness is in happiness of others that also slowly i am able to see or i may be able to see so ultimately that part what is my feeling what are my thoughts what are my sanskars that are driving my feelings that we have to start working on yeah yes okay sometimes in case of disease will come uh, mm -hmm. even uh, uh, thousand birds are killed in that area because the virus and bacteria spread throughout the world so at that time justice may vary i didn't yeah. understand yeah. actually in case of kerala like that area um, some chicken or some uh, birds are killing in case of any virus attack in that bird itself mm -hmm. uh, thousand birds are killing in that time due to some virus attack that spreads all the in that time justice will come what yeah see it is not focused to others so what is the um, correct right understanding i think so see this is what i'm saying rather than looking outside at what's happening outside what are the problems outside you no know, first we have to resolve ourselves 
because if i am not resolved i will not be able to rightly evaluate what is happening outside also so rather than look at the issues outside to begin with i should start looking inward myself no what am i looking at what is my imagination going on within me what are my thoughts what is my feeling is it in line with my natural acceptance what is my natural acceptance those questions if we keep looking at time and again slowly we will be able to make that shift once we make that shift once we start being calm comfortable within then with that we can rightly evaluate situations outside also see what we are saying okay thank you yeah uh, after attending regularly attending these uh, morning sessions and uh, started volunteering in which we uh, sessions uh, means uh, uh, after um, uh, registering for uh, volunteering i got the opportunity to enter in each and every fdp so uh, i have noticed change in my uh, self first one i'll say uh, when i uh, um, attended the session of holistic health after that i have seen that um, about food selection or uh, in fact actually i can say um, that earlier i was matlab um, uh, looking for tasty food and in fact i was uh, craving for uh, some uh, tasty food or even though i was knowing that uh, fast foods are not okay to take but still if it comes in front uh, um, yeah, if i get any opportunity to consume that uh, i was ready it's okay abhi kabhi to le sakte hain like that but now i my thought have been changed i changed to avoid no it's not good for my health i have to work for my holistic health and so it is about food selection and next notice uh, that um, like yesterday i was um, struggling actually um, i am from instrumentation domain in ec and my research is now in microwave domain is it is and in just keep am, the point briefly okay 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 ma'am briefly yeah so actually i was uh, struggling over uh, somewhere and i uh, looked for help from uh, some uh, other people and obviously people are busy in their life themselves so now actually i don't uh, uh, it uh, don't come in my mind that uh, uh, others intention is not right now i understand from others point of view i may see that they may be busy they are also having their work so they are not getting time to resolve my issues third 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 um, um, example we, which i um, have realized like uh, in my um, official environment there is some there some change occurred in uh, my portfolio also um, when i got uh, sick uh, which i have mentioned earlier i think in last month anyway so uh, uh, now i think that all these change have uh, been uh, actually i have realized at that time also that it was for good for me but now i i think that it was done with good intentions also i was really getting overworked uh, and it was realized and uh, now uh, i have been relaxed so all thing is in good and i uh, really i have started to see the others other face of the coin so these mm-hmm. are the changes which i have noticed in myself very thank nice. you very nice thank you for your observation so we'll keep noticing such changes and this work must go on this exploration within us must continue um we have couple more observations but i think in the interest of time we'll move to the next chapter we can always come back to the observations so if we can put chapter 15 now yeah so here we are going to look at the possible sources of happiness 
since happiness is of prime importance to me i want to be happy and i want to be happy in continuity i must know where all i can get this happiness from right even though we have talked about this at length we'll talk a little more in depth about where all we look for happiness and how we are influenced by it you know by the outside by so many things around us and how to come out of it um if we can go to the next slide so we have been you know from the beginning we have been talking about our basic aspiration that for a human being the basic aspiration is to be happy and to be happy in continuity and so we in this whole exercise in the whole you know workshop we are trying to explore and understand the program what would you do to ensure this happiness in continuity so with that you know we could conclude some you know basic things that this happiness and its continuity can be ensured when i have the right understanding when i have the right feeling and thought within myself and this has been validated by many of you in fact you know your sharings even today have expressed that that we are able to see you know we may not have completeness of right understanding but the moment we have the right feeling within us we feel calm we feel comfortable we are in happiness so now you can appreciate that earlier there were so many times when i had a feeling of opposition and i was uncomfortable unhappy now with all the exploration that we have been doing i can see that my feeling is my decision and i can choose to have the right feeling no matter what is happening outside if i refer to my natural acceptance i see my natural acceptance guiding me in a particular direction that does not change that natural acceptance is not only universal it is very definite it does not change so with that i can see that regardless of the other person's behavior if my focus is on my feeling and being in line with natural acceptance i can have the right feeling and the moment i have the right feeling i see that i am happy and that's what i wanted it was not about changing the other i thought that to be happy i have to change the other that's why i was trying to change the other but now that i can see that i can be happy regardless of what the other is doing i don't have to change the other to be happy now the whole scenario changes now my focus shifts inward and now i can see that this is something i can easily work on now i can see the possibility of the continuity because if i can have this feeling at one moment i can have this feeling at another moment also and so on which we got a very good glimpse of or you know when we did the exercises exercise 1 and 2 lot of reflections went into that but the work must continue see we may have covered the exercises only one step is left of exercise 2 but the exploration has to continue regardless yes can we go to the next slide this is just a diagrammatic representation of the same thing the yellow the activities of the b2 block they are going on they continue to go on but the difference now is that once we are awakening to the higher activities these higher activities are now guiding the lower activities and so we can see the changes happening 
So it's not that the lower activities stop functioning. They are still there. They are very much there. But they are now in line with the higher activities. Like the examples we were taking. You, know? you will still do selection and tasting. You will still do analyzing and comparing for the work that you have to do. But now your focus is on relationship, your focus is on harmony, your focus is on coexistence. And with that, you are doing the analysis, the comparison, the selecting, the tasting, and so on. So those higher activities are now guiding these lower activities. Next slide. Yeah. So, like we were mentioning, on the one hand, inside we are working for realization. We are working to activate these higher activities within us by working with, you know, constantly paying attention inside to our feeling and referring to the natural acceptance. As we keep referring to the natural acceptance more and more and more, this awakening to the higher activities starts happening. And of course, once we awaken to the higher activities, these higher activities make the lower activities definite in line with them. So on the one hand, we are working inside for realization. Even though we may not have reached the realization, we don't have to wait till we reach. At the same time, we are also validating experientially outside, not only, you know, just to validate, but also seeing this as an expression in our behavior outside with other human beings, in our work with nature. We see the expression of whatever our desires, our changed desires, our changed thoughts that have come in line with this natural acceptance, an expression of that. So we participate with that in the larger order and do our part, play our role. So on the one hand, we are working towards realization inside. On the other hand, we are also participating outside and in our behavior, in our work, all this is, um, we can see what is going on within by the expression outside. So that's what we have to keep doing so that we can ultimately reach our goal of universal human order that we keep talking about. Yes, next slide. Yeah. So with that, when we do that, the first thing that happens is, I feel good inside. So if it's only at the level of selecting, tasting, some temporary happiness, pleasure, something like this. But now when I select and taste, you know, according to the higher activities, I feel happy. When I analyzing and comparing according to the guidance from my higher activities so that I am doing justice in my relationships. My senses are guided by the higher activities. I am working not just for profit but out of relationship. Even when I look at the health of the body, I am not just trying to get more and more resources but rather taking responsibility for the health of the body. All this gives me peace. My thoughts are not in contradiction. My thoughts are getting aligned and definite in line with the natural acceptance. So that gives me peace, the calm. When I see the relationship with others, I have this assurance about this relatedness with all not just other human beings, not just my family, not just my relatives, but a relatedness with all. And therefore, I participate in the larger order 
with that assurance that yes you know we all are related everybody has the same intention as me we are just somewhat different in our competence so we can help each other we can be complementary to each other that gives lot of satisfaction and when i see you know everything in harmony when i see that all the units are in harmony everything in nature not just human beings i see how every unit is participating every unit is self organized you know somehow things are just happening in a very definite organized manner so i have this feeling of bliss and of course with the realization of coexistence ultimately we'll be able to i directly see see even the you know subtlest reality the space and how all the units are submerged in space so that authenticates things for me that becomes the basis for this whole you know everything the way it is in the existence this whole pattern how it is so you can see that how you know as i am working within my calm my comfort level inside you know my feeling of comfort is increasing the percentage of it is increasing some of you even shared that you know in the last exercise that percentages are increasing because we are working on it we are making that effort so we have to keep doing that that effort must continue next slide yeah before we go to possible sources of happiness if um anybody has any questions you can take it i think we'll uh, not uh, do the previous questions right now we can lower the hands um, but if there is a question particularly for this what we are covering now we can take it it is right from the day we started you at three Mm-hmm. we seem to believe that our basic aspiration is happiness but now we are putting different words namely peace satisfaction bliss whether they all come under happiness or it is something more than that peace satisfaction bliss baby yeah see the the words are not important it is my experience that is important mm-hmm. how i feel within Mm. you may you may define bliss as something else somebody else may define it as something else isn't it ji 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 words are not important what is important is to try to see that feeling inside no so these are some words that have been put mm when we say there is no conflict in my thoughts there is peace but mm. when there is no conflict in my thoughts there is also harmony that mm. is also happiness you see Mm, mm. So these words you will find are interlinked in a way so what exactly the word to use here rather than focus on that we should try to experience the reality within when i have the experience then you know it doesn't matter what word i give it but i know what we are mm. talking about mm, mm, mm. but if we just use the word now if i say some definition for bliss and i say some definition for satisfaction which we did just now mm, mm. it will not mean much so rather than try to remember that okay this means this 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 word supposed to mean like this the meaning of the word is not the same as my experience of that feeling isn't it mm mm ji 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 there should be the focus and you'll find that these are all interlinked uh, i got the point vivi yes. but still i just want to know whether it is a higher order of happiness bliss means 
ultimate happiness like that something you can have like that yeah. so, that so even it. beyond that is realization now you would have to call it something else so you will call it super bliss or something like that no like mm-hmm. you have anand and you have param anand mm 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 so like that so those are terms now until we experience it we are not able to say 100% this is what it is because we will give mm-hmm. some definition based on i for one i can say that i have not experienced that paramanand super bliss kind of state so mm-hmm. now whatever i say about it will be based on what i have heard what i believe na mm-hmm. whatever i have read and so on but to experience that within me that would be a whole different thing is it yeah yeah so did you say you can think of it as levels it's like mm. um i would say say when you are looking for pleasure outside mm. that momentary happiness you get that is also mm. happiness in some way it's not the harmony within it's mm. excitement but we call it happiness no mm-hmm. pleasure yes. so if that is one unit suppose mm. then this realization would be infinite of those you can say mm. so as you work towards the higher activities you find that your um, experience inside is so much nicer so much deeper mm-hmm. so many units more than what you were trying to get from the outside that the lower automatically you lose interest in it because this is mm-hmm. so much more you know uh, rewarding or so much you mu- you feel so much better for such a longer mm-hmm. time no is possible mm-hmm. yeah you get the point ji 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 Yeah, yeah, I got it, Didi. Didi, let me add one more thing, Didi. Then why we are saying our basic aspiration is continuous happiness? Why can't we say that our basic aspiration is realization itself? Yeah, because when you are talking to the average person who has not no idea of self, also you talk big words, realization. Mm-hmm. Nobody is interested. I want to be happy. Yes, everybody can understand that. I want to realize. not everybody will understand that no so you have to mm-hmm. include everybody those who are interested not interested everybody should have the at least the chance to listen to this a chance to look at these proposals and see and then decide so to start with everybody can relate to the happiness you start talking about realization you see how many people will want to come for the you know listen to you 